keeper, the tenant, if they were a long-term tenant, had the right of redemption, that is, to make good, to heal the injury. And the landlord could not declare the tenant delinquent until the tenant had give, been given that opportunity to cure. Now, these are fundamental rights for over 1,200 years since the beginning and creation of tenants and tenancy itself. And when you look at, at Udal land and feudal land, the feudal system created in the 13th century and then upgraded in the 16th century, and then common law land um, under, underpinned or um, overlaid, rather, the concept of allodium, the concept of tenancy and the rights of equity and redemption have been honoured right up until the present day, with one exception, the hiding of these rights to us in the last 200 years in the creation of the mortgage, where what they did was create a mirror system and called it equity of redemption so that people falsely believe that the only rights they have is if they are good, mortgage payer and equity of redemption ceases when you cease to pay the mortgage. Well, it's utter rubbish. Equity of redemption relates to a particular contract called a mortgage, has nothing to do with 1,200-year-old rights that are embedded and fundamental to being a tenant. Well, what does this mean so far and what we're saying? Well, it means this. <coughs> it means that if we learn and if we read and if we see the origin of laws and land and concepts that we're using every day, there are insights in their origin that give us hope today. For example, if we go to court and we seek the remedy through being a tenant, the court will attempt to reposition us and claim that we are a mortgagor. Well, we may be a mortgagor, but we are a tenant first and foremost, and that is the higher right. And if that court is not a court of equity, then one can claim quite rightly that it is a, a court that does not have the subject matter jurisdiction to hear a case of equity and redemption. Knowing these understandings, we are able to go back and see that if we remedy and pay the rent, the rent being the interest, we can return ourselves to honour and evoke our right of redemption. And in that process, if the bank and the courts, which they will, because we have seen this time and time again, deny us that right, then we can use that denial, that obstruction, against them in proving the uh, misappropriation of justice that they do. doesn't mean that what we're doing is a magic bullet. It doesn't mean that what we've learned is going to immediately have an effect on these people. But what it does mean is that we are, not, we are no longer faced with the prospect that there is no remedy against the tyranny of these people because the law exists and the law has always had remedy despite of their trickery in their lives. So if you go through, you'll see the history there of feudal. And if you go through, you'll see the history of Elodium. Well, I'm going to leave it short tonight just with those things. And it's only a short identity. And it's just really to give some insight to what the work's been going on. And it's been a huge amount of work to get this done. And I know that this is a massive issue for many of you that are facing foreclosure or who have lost your homes or trying to get your homes back uh, or know people that are losing their homes. And this will be worked at and the notes outstanding will be worked at over the next week to have them up to speed. And I encourage each and every one of you to go to the website and have a look at these early sections and read them. And I look forward to questions at the next call next Wednesday. And I know that there are going to be questions in terms of background of knowledge, and I ask for your patience. But I hope you find the information helpful. I hope you find the background helpful. And know that everything we're doing is to help you 
become competent, to help you with knowledge, to convey this knowledge to you so you can help others, and to end the madness of this world where people either say it can't change, it'll never change, it won't change, I can do nothing, we can do nothing. That has to end. It has to end. But it'll be up to each and every one of you to help make that happen. So thank you, and I look forward to speaking with each and every one of you next Wednesday, and all the best. Bye-bye.